I did, DMAC. I wanted to run this by everybody because I saw this yesterday and immediately ran and texted you guys immediately. And I don't do the all caps bit. Yeah. It's not my thing. That's true. Unless I'm so moved, unless I'm so so overtook with rage, then I do. DMAC, did you see this bit that's out there? Dave Burkett tweeted this. He said, quote, it's not a headline from The Onion. Bill Belichick, quote, the Detroit Lions enjoying the fruits of labor from Matt Patricia because the Lions drafted, what, Frank Ragnow when he was here, mm -hmm. and that's it. In much the same fashion, wasn't it Matt Millen that drafted Calvin Johnson? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. I heard this, and I couldn't believe it for a second. Couldn't believe it. <sighs> Matt Patri enjoying the fruits of Matt Patricia's labor. You mean the 13 and 29 coach was he that when he was here with the Lions had the Lions as another laughing stock in the NFL? Yep. You're talking about the Matt Patricia that came through that organization with a blowtorch and blew people out of there that were actually good at their jobs. Came in there because he was smarter than everybody else and had his pencil in his ear. Had all that. It was he was going to save the day. Him and Bob Quinn were going to save the day. Mm -hmm. Enjoying the la the fruits of the labor from Matt Patricia. The 13 and 29 while he was here, Matt Patricia. That's the most egregious thing I've ever heard. And you know what, Bill Belichick, since we're talking about you, you know, the Matt Patricia thing is the norm with guys that coached under you mm -hmm. because as I look around the room here at the coaches that have come from you, Bill Belichick, 219 and 306. Every person that coached under you is a bum. Just like Matt Patricia is a bum. Fruits of labor from Matt Patricia, d Matt. What the fuck? Are, are, we, are we kidding here? Are we kidding? And that all this does, all this does is tell me for Bill Belichick to say that, here's what it does. It tells me it was all Tom Brady. All of it was Tom Brady. The <laughs> whole New England Patriots run, the Super Bowl dynasty, clearly was not from anything Bill Belichick did. It was all Tom Brady. Matt Patricia's a bum. He's he stays out of the 313 for life. Yes. No fly zone. The fruits of labor from Matt Patricia. Yeah. D-Mac. Yeah, trick, trick, change. Help me. Trick, 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 change, no flies on. He was out there performing with Rick Ross last night for the election party, and he hammered it on Matt Patricia. Yeah, right. But the fact is, you look at, right, and and technically, if you're going to go to the to the guys that he had and the Frank Ragnows and Decker, was he one of his guys, too? Glass. Uh, that Bob Quinn. Bob Quinn selected. No, no, but that's what I'm saying. Yeah. The Quinn, you're going to put it on Quinn Trish is that they identify talent. You brought up the point, uh, so did Matt Millen and Calvin Johnson yeah. to whatever else, but the execution, it, it blows me away with Bill Ch Belichick because there's always that question, right, of of his assistant. Like, he doesn't give them the They're secret. They're all bombs. They, but he doesn't, it seems like they leave missing something that other great coaches and, and coaches, especially in college, like the Saban tree, yeah, right? Like the different trees in college and guys that have, have performed mm -hmm. um it gets tougher right like that that that's the one thing so like it's just that's just a joke to me the first thing that i thought and somebody said in the chat warning this is what happens when you hang out with pe with people 40 years younger than you and they drain all your fluids from every <laughs> orifice in your body because <laughs> <Yeah. Top five laughs> you can't today. think around yeah. it's top five fluids but yeah bill's not thinking correctly but it, it but is this goes i'm going to elaborate on your tom brady thing Right, because as it plays out even more, it would lean that way. But is this not like this? There's a sort of not like aloofness to reality of what we see and maybe what yeah. Bill Belichick has always displayed. Now, I'm not saying he's not a great coach and you can't take away. Obviously, he's got more championships than I do. But the, the fact is, is that when you, this takes so much credibility away and tell me you don't pay much attention right. or see what's going on without that's like us saying hey in jacksonville and stuff like this and somebody in jacksonville is like you're not here yeah you don't know what's going on stuff like this so to me it just takes away the credibility and it's just like to your point for all and maybe to the belichick brady conversation this does not help bill belichick to yeah. suggest that he played any part in what's happening now any part yeah if anything, we're all survivors. Mm -hmm. yeah. You, me, 
people watching right now, <laughs> this, Lions right. fans, we're survivors yeah. of this. This That's rebuild was supposed to take way longer. Like, thank God Brad Holmes came in here and actually had a plan because the way Patricia set this organization back, we were supposed to be bad for at least another five to six years. Easy. Yeah. The, Easy. The fruits of Matt Patricia's labor were all rotten. The fruits of Matt Patricia's labor were Trey Flowers and Jamie Collins and Jeff Okuda Fact. and these bums Wait, that oh. aren't on the team anymore because they got uprooted and I ripped out by one. a good farmer. Jelani Tavai. Let's Jelani be smart yeah, right. in the whole Jelani freaking Tavai. room and draft a guy in the second round that's not even on the board. Right. Try to turn this into the Detroit Patriots, man. But the way I looked at it is, is Bill, one, he's ignorant to anything going on in Detroit or, or Lions organization, period. Second, he's trying to get his man's a job. He's trying to, you know, buff up his name. You know, he's trying to look out for it for his friend. But that's just completely stupid when... He wasn't even here when, when Taylor Decker and, and Graham Glasgow got drafted. You let Graham Glasgow walk and go to Denver for crying out loud. You didn't want to pay him um, after his, his first contract was up. And yeah, you drafted Frank Rag now, but they weren't near the players that they that they are today. So I just, I don't get that statement. It's, it's, weird. it's I, weird. If he came out and said, thank Matt Patricia because he did such a gosh darn horrible job that you got Penny Sewell, I'd say, okay, thanks. Yeah, That's the great, right? Great coaching job to be able to have somebody be smart and select but but that does this not even just give more you know, credence to the fact of what the job brad holmes is doing mm -hmm. and when we mentioned when steve eiserman and the, and the contracts that are invisible to a lot of people in the salary cap to get it right but brad holmes like they had nothing spending you said it they walked into an orchard of rotten fruit yeah. and they had like one one or two that might be able to be resurrected yeah. The only thing I thank Matt Patricia for is him finally getting the blinders off of, of uh, Martha Ford. Yeah. Being like, okay, I need to get somebody else to do this. Because yeah. she realized how bad that decision was to bring in Matt Patricia and Bob Quinn. Yep. She was like, okay, maybe I bring someone else in here to make the decisions. That's the only thing Matt Patricia did. You were so terrible at your job, you made the owner question her leadership. That's how bad you were, you stupid four-wheeler riding bum. Yeah. Dude, the fr you want to know the fruits of Matt Patricia's labor? Trey Flowers, Jamie Collins, Jelani Tavai. Mm -hmm. 19 million in cap space to not play. Right. To not be here. That's the fruits of their yeah. quote-unquote right. labor. You want to know the fruits of his labor? Darius Slay saying, get me TF out of here. Andre Diggs, Andre Diggs, Diggs, Diggs saying, that. get me TF out of here. Mm-hmm. All, that's ha the fruits of his labor. Having a whim now mandate and selecting a corner at three. <laughs> uh, 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 one of the worst corners in this league at three. On the IR right now. <sighs> so that's... Nah. Nah, bro. You, you don't get to say that, Bill Belichick. And look, I respect the Super Bowls and everything like that. That's ignorant talk. And yes, even if Diddy's capable of that stuff, you're capable of saying some dumb shit. Like, yeah. I mean, come on. It, that is... That is egregious to say. Yeah. We are survivors of this. Matt Patricia's a bum. Yeah. He shouldn't show his face in Detroit ever again. He's and, a fucking loser. Hey, Matt Patricia's so good, he's coaching where? Nah. No. Yeah. yeah. He's, yeah. He's, Even he's with all his plays. friends. I would say this, though. Get you somebody in your life that loves you the way Bill, Bill Belichick swear. loves Matt Patricia. I swear. Do that. Everybody, do that. Get somebody in your life that loves you the way that Bill Belichick loves Matt Patricia. Do that. Jesus Christ, this guy, man. Yeah, it's bad. I'll never understand it. I, I had to get that off my chest. Mm -hmm. And I feel better now. So thank you. Thank you, the people. Thank you, my friends and, and co-workers here. Thank you for allowing me to do that. Because I've exhaled now. Yeah. And I feel better. It's therapy. You can't take shit like that serious, man. Like Bill Belichick, what does he no, know about but, Detroit but Lions he, football? Here's, here's the deal. And I, I won't name names. Yeah. I had friends that worked there in that organization that I didn't know, and I guess in the end, luckily for me personally, that he did come in there and broom out good people. Yeah. But people that worked there for a very long time that he broomed out that were elite at their craft. I know I worked with them. Yeah. I saw it. I saw it. And he just went in there and said, I'm doing this my way. Here's my stupid ass pencil that's in my ear. Yeah. And, and, and just blew the guts out of an organization. Look, we knew what the problem was with the Lions. Talent evaluation, mm -hmm. period, end of story. Facts. The rest of the stuff was fine. Yeah. Talent evaluation, 
getting guys with second contracts and contract extensions. Right. They fix that. They're good now. Period. End of story. Yeah. Guess what? That's what it is with every organization. It's a talent-based game. That's what it is. So, again, I'm just glad I got to do that. We can move on.